Hey guys, Ricardo with FastTech.com. The purpose of a catch can is to catch any oil deposits that are pushed through the PCV system due to crankcase pressure. With any boosted application, the crankcase pressure is under more force than naturally aspirated applications. Since these 2.0 Camaros are equipped with a turbo, they will experience more crankcase pressure. That is why today we're going to be installing the Mishimoto Baffled Catch Can on our 2019 Camaro. The dual 50 micron filters are going to separate the oil from the air, keeping the carbon buildup off our valves and reduce the amount of potential pre-detonation. While those filters are keeping the engine clean, the Billet 6061 cans are catching the oil, allowing us to easily maintain them when it comes to any oil change. Now the installation is going to be easily done since Mishimoto provides the easy to install components without any major modifications. The rubber hoses provided in the kit blend in easily with the other factory components giving us a clean look to go along with the excellent protection we're going to get. First thing we will have to do is get the factory engine cover removed so we can access the PCV lines under the cover. Remove the torque screws holding the cover in place. Then remove the oil fill cap to remove the cover. Reinstall the oil fill cap to prevent anything from falling into the valve cover. With the cover removed, locate the PCV hose that runs across the top of the valve cover and between the coil packs. This will be the main hose needed for removal. Using a fuel line disconnect tool, remove the fitting connected to the top of the intake system. Push the fuel line tool up and the hose down to loosen it and then pull it up to remove. Repeat this same process for the fitting on the back side of the valve cover. To remove the hose on the front side of the valve cover, use a pick to loosen the retaining tabs on the inside and gently pull back the fitting to remove from the cover. Carefully work at the clips to have them removed. The factory ports are plastic and can be a bit brittle at times. With the fittings removed, remove the 10mm bolt holding the hose to the valve cover. Now you can remove the hose assembly and set it aside since it will no longer be used. Before we can install the Mishimoto hoses, we will have to install the provided valve fittings that will allow us to attach the hoses. Remove the factory plug on the valve cover and install the provided fitting. Be sure not to over tighten the fitting, it should only be snug. Now we can assemble the catch can bracket assembly. Starting with the first can, we are going to install the smaller of the port fittings. Screw the fittings in place and tighten them down. Then install them to the right side of the mounting bracket. This will be the location of the smaller port fittings for the hose routing. Now install the larger port fittings to the other can and install the can to the mounting bracket. Do not fully tighten the cans in place. Leave the mounting screws loose till the hoses are installed. Once the hoses are installed in their final location, the cans can be tightened in place. Before we can install the bracket assembly, remove the two 10mm nuts near the fuse box location. This is where the mounting brackets will sit. Install the bracket assembly to the factory studs and reinstall the factory nuts to hold the bracket in place.
Assembling the hoses is going to require the provided clamps and fittings. Install the smaller fitting to the T portion of the hose with the provided clamp. Install the larger fittings to the portion of the hose with the larger opening along with the provided clamp. The smaller hose ends will only require a clamp to hold them in place. To route the hoses, we are going to take the T-shaped hose and apply the fittings to the intake port and the front side of the valve cover. The other hose end will go to the fitting on the catch can. The other larger hose will route to the back side of the valve cover and to the other side of the catch can with the larger ports. This smaller hose will install to the angled portion of the port fitting. The last small hose will install along with the barbed hose adapter to the hose coming off the angled portion. With all the hoses in the correct location, we can tighten down all the hose clamps. Finally, reinstall the engine cover and ensure that none of the hoses are being pinched or obstructed in any way.
There you have it guys, now with the catch cans installed, our engine will benefit from all the oil deposits the catch cans are going to collect. The cans are 3 ounces, so we will be able to collect a decent amount of oil deposits before they have to be emptied. But a simple rule to follow is to check the cans each oil change. Simply twist the bottom half of the can off to empty them as needed and reinstall them to keep on driving down the road. As always, thank you for watching. If you would like any more information about this product, go ahead and click the link in the description. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos.